What is happening guys? Welcome back to Red Beard's Garage. On today's episode we're going to be pulling this high mileage performance built Predator Hemi build uh, completely apart and we're going to check it out and see how it has worn over the years. So this engine we did a build on it about three or four years ago. I'll actually have to go back and date it to when the original video posted. But I did a pretty far out build on this one. I did, uh, I ported the head very slight amount. It hasn't had nothing aggressive. Had a 24 millimeter Makuni working onto the valve train. I'm pretty sure it has double valve springs, but I cannot remember. I'll have to go back and I'll put right here on screen what all has been done to it. But I'm pretty sure it has some billet ratio rockers in it. It has a billet rod, billet flywheel, and uh, can't remember the cam either. We have abused this thing for years, rarely changing the oil in it. So it's going to be awesome to see how it was holding up. This engine still ran perfect. When we took it off, we've never changed the spark plug. We've never did anything but some oil changes here and there. So uh, let's pull this thing apart. I've never even adjusted the valves in three years of a lot of miles and hours on this thing. And we just abused it. So what we're going to do is pull it apart, fully freshen it up. We might even get the block Cerakoted. Uh, we did steal the billet side cover off of this for another build actually. Uh, so that's the only thing is we've replaced the side cover, but we'll do an all out build on it a rebuild and we'll put a billet side cover back onto it. And then we're going to be giving away this engine to one of you guys. So make sure to stay tuned at the end of the video to see how you can win one of the classic iconic engines off of Lonnie's mini bike. So let's get into this thing. All right. So we're going to pull the side cover off first, just to see what the flywheel looks like. Like I said, it's been three or four years since we built this and it's been abused like crazy there's a lot of dirt in that so there is some build up so why there's so much oil on this is it had a catch can and we didn't have the block vented like i do now the proper way and the catch can was dripping down on the front of the block covering it with oil so that's why this thing's so bad our coil gap looks okay the the magnet is super rusted i don't know if you guys can see that so i mean that's just a little bit of sanding and we can try to polish up this flywheel i mean it, it'll look brand new when we're done but uh still got good compression it's actually was a great running old one of the og coils that I built still firing it's got a iridium spark plug in it let's pull the spark plug and look at that because this port I don't know if you guys can see that it is bad there was so much dust in this thing it's pretty rough looking so look at that there was a lot of dust in that port that's why I always say to run the foam uni filters you can see the rust on the coil spark plug wire still doing great this thing's three four years old and still the original iridium spark plug for some reason i'm running a spark plug spacer just don't make any sense maybe i was an idiot back then but this head i don't think has been milled any it could be milled a little bit 20 30 thousandths but i don't remember oh dropped it that thing she was running a little rich pull the valve cover that wouldn't tight at all this is a one of the first uh mr valve cover valve covers we had done as well so yeah we did some ratio rockers and this looks like 1.2 billet ratio rockers these things have been holding it down and we did chromoly push rods we did stainless valves billet uh, retainers and i think these are i don't know if these are the 18 pound or the 26 again we'll have uh, links to everything in the video description rotate it over get it at top dead center a ton of valve lash i would say that's 10,000 on the exhaust the intake isn't bad but the exhaust is super bad so maybe we'd have got a little bit more performance out of it if we would check that so what sucks about the hemi predator has these little keepers on it 
So we're gonna pop those off and pull these rockers out because we're gonna remove the head. All right, with these hemis always rotated over, pry against the block and drop it. So you're just popping out that little C-clip, push the pin out. I'm telling you, everything looks really good so far. See the walk, rockers don't have a ton of wear on them. Actually look extremely good. Let's look at the lash caps. Got a little color wore off of them, but other than that, they're still good to go. So these was cut to length push rods. You can see where the coating has wore off, where they was hitting the valve, like touching the rockers. These are studs in this block, so we have 13 mil sockets where if you was running the bolts, it's normally 12. So I'm pulling this little heat shield. It allows the head to come off a little easier. And I'm going to get the top plate and the heat shield down here powder coated when I get the block Cerakoted. See, this thing had some gunk on it. Come on, baby. I mean, it's not sooted up like a crazy amount. But definitely has. And these are stainless stock size valves. Hey, gasket was holding up good. You can't see any leaks. The thing was running great when we took it off, actually. Now I'm real curious to see the cylinder walls. Yeah, that's where the that's where it looks a little crusty. Which a good hone job and new rings is what we're gonna do to this. I think a good hone job will clean that up do some new rings oh uh, yeah doesn't look like the worst in the world again wasn't smoking i mean it's you can see where the piston this thing set outside a lot so uh, it's not surprising all right so we're going to pull the side cover off and also we did stainless lifters in this uh, lifters are the part that touch the cam and the cam pushes the lifter up, that, which pushes the push rod. For some reason we're missing a dowel, but this was, again, we pulled the side cover off of this for something else. See how our lifters look. They do not look awful. One thing you want to look at is the cam lobes. We'll see if we've gotten any wear. We always use high zinc additive, which helps prevent like wear on your cam and stuff. You can see, I'm telling you guys, this thing has a ton of hours on it. And that cam looks new, like the lobes are perfect. And again, I'll have to look up what cam this was. We will probably put a more aggressive cam because this is probably, let's say a two. 75 or something. I don't know what Go Power Sports had back in the day. Now we can pull that rod up. Oh man, that's that is tight. All right, there we go. Oh, we did have how many spacers did we have to run? Oh, we had to run all of them. So where we had the billet flywheel, we oh geez, we have one thin, two. So we had to run both thick and both thin washers to get rid of the end play in this engine. I do remember that. All right, let's look at the bearing. So the chrome was coming off the bearing, but it's not scored very bad, which again, we're gonna put new bearings in it, but that to me looks perfectly fine. You can't feel any kind of marks across it. It was wearing really good. I can push the piston out. Even the sides of the piston look, I mean, pretty impressed. I've seen engines wore a lot worse 
with less hours on them. Let's see how much stuff, how much carbon. So quite a bit of carbon. Probably should have dialed her back a bit on the fuel. All in all, it looks good. Again, we're gonna put new rings in this. Um, we'll hone the cylinder really well. Like, I'm super surprised with this thing. And we'll hone it out. We'll order new bearings for this rod. Um, get the new bearings coming. Of course, this is the bearing off the actual rod. Again, no major scoring or anything. Um, oh no, we had massive failure. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. There is chunks out of this. I've never seen a bearing wear like that. So it was definitely time that I'm wondering what the crankshaft looks like now. But you can see that scoring. That's pretty crazy. That's a keeper for sure. The one on the rod cap looks perfect though. Yeah, I hope you guys can see that. Let me try to... There's like chunks missing out of it down there. Yeah, definitely time. I bet the crank isn't going to look too pretty. For sure. Oh, we actually had to run five. Holy piccoli. We had three thick and two thin shims. That was a lot of in play. We got three thick and two thin shims. That's way too much in play. Oh, to know what we know now back then, but this engine was a trooper. There's out the bottom of the block. I'll drain the rest of this oil and we'll really get a good look at it. I just noticed the chunks of that bearing is actually laying on the crank. So we'll be able to retrieve those. It's actually kind of exciting. Definitely gonna be throwing this old coil away. So with billet flywheels, you have this uh, remover that Go Power Sports sells, and it's specifically for removing billet flywheels. This works on the big block and the small block, so you only have to buy one. And I think it works on the flatheads. Use a 13. Tighten it up. There we go. Yeah, super handy tool to have if you mess with billet flywheels. All right. Flywheel, of course, looks good. Wouldn't expect nothing. Super dingy. We can polish this puppy out real nice. Okay, let's pull the crankshaft out because I saw chunks on it. Come on, baby. Okay. So there they are. There's the pieces that we was missing. But the, the crank looks great. Like long as it checks in spec for oil clearance, it's going to be perfect. But there's... One of our chunks on my fingertip there. So yeah, so our the biggest flaw was the cylinder walls don't look great. Uh, they're not like scarred up or anything, but you can tell where dirt has done its job. It feels pretty dang gritty in there. Uh, so a good hone job. I might buy me a ball hone. I've been wanting to buy one forever. Uh, rod bearings was getting pretty desperate on this one. This would have broke real soon it's probably halfway worn through on those cracks so uh really cool that we checked that out so now it's just pulling the studs out of the block we got to pull this uh, oil drain hose i'll probably replace this too because it's seen some hours on it uh, we're going to pull the top plate get the whole block blasted and then seracoded in the black that i like to do now and if i didn't get any of this head milled off we may mill some off this head uh, just depends we might just clean it up and pour it better because uh, I can't remember I can tell I rounded off the corners but I didn't do an aggressive port job so the ports could definitely be this one's filled with dirt so definitely be getting probably new valves put in it just redo the head really nice we did run a 
Oh, that's there's some rough stuff in that. Maybe that's more pieces. Yeah, I bet that's pieces of that that rod right there, rod bearing. That's what it seems like. So it was starting to put pieces of. I'm talking four years, guys. That was a lot of time on that engine. A lot of time, a lot of wear. Pretty please, there's that piece again on my thumb there. So I was about to make the outro for the video. And where that oil is leaking down, the oil is just from uh, out of the little wheat hole in between the lifters. But look how the block is crushed right there. Can you guys tell that? I've never seen that before. It's like there's an indention right here. Very poor casting on this engine. That looks rough. So, that's weird. I've never seen that before. Um, let's take some some blaster brake clean. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks like the block was breaking down to that that oil drain. It's, it's weird. Oh well, she was running fine, not leaking, so we'll keep on pushing her. So guys, this was a fun experiment looking at this block and this engine teardown was pretty fun. Uh, this was the highest mileage engine, highest hours, whatever you want to call it, uh, that we had in our shop and it was pretty cool to see the wear. We put a ton of hours. I wish I had an hour gauge on these things to really tell how much time we're putting on them. But uh, what we would do is if we went on a big ride, we would do a fresh oil change um, and like check the chain on the bike and stuff. And then we wouldn't change the oil into the next big ride when we went off road. So sometimes this oil set in it for like eight months. So engine was definitely abused. I think the crank is going to be good. We'll check oil clearance. We'll do a video putting everything back together. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we're going to get the block coated and cleaned up, put new seals in it, uh, put a new billet side cover. We'll run that 24 mil uh, carb through an ultrasonic cleaner to get it all uh, cleaned out. But uh, yeah, really exciting guys. So uh, how you can win this engine is we're going to do a giveaway on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. It's easier to keep up with things that way than doing it on YouTube. And we'll announce it once the engine's done. I don't want to uh, bring up any hype right now until the engine's completely done. Because I'll have to order rod bearings, get the block done up at the Cerakoter. And we'll also probably throw in a header with this engine. So if you want a chance to win it, make sure you're following us on Instagram or Facebook and uh make sure to check out the links below you can find all the parts that was used in this engine build and you can find the original video where we built this engine it was back in the day so uh, give me some slack so thank you guys so much for watching we're also going to give away this rod bearing uh, we're going to make a keychain out of it and we're going to give it away to one of you guys uh the broken rod bearing i think that'd be pretty cool but uh, yeah, let us know what you think about this top video. We do have the engine off the CR80, which is about half the time that this had on it. Uh, and I want to tear it apart the same way it was the 212R block and see what is happening in it. So I think it's really interesting and I can't wait to get another engine with a ton of miles and tear it down. Uh, it's really fun doing these little experiments like this. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting us. Uh, make sure to check out those links. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for your chance to win this engine. You're going to be able to enter this free. You don't have to buy nothing to win this engine. So uh, thank you guys so much. We love you and God bless.